These poems are dedicated to all those whose lives have been spent in bringing peace to this planet. Wherever you are, I bow my head. May peace be on this earth. We are all united with the thread of love. May each one of us realize the garland of life. How would you like to be <coughs> like an eagle soaring in the wind? How would you like to be like a dolphin dancing in the waves? How would you like to be a star sparkling at night? How would you like to be the universe in all its glory? How would you like to be the sun shining warmth to this world? This is the riddle of life. You are the sun, moon, and stars. Discover your true essence. I am a Christian, yet I'm not a Christian. I am a Jew, yet I'm not a Jew. I am a Hindu, yet I'm not a Hindu. I am a Buddhist, yet I am not a Buddhist. I am a Jain, but I'm not a Jain. I am a Muslim, yet I am not a Muslim. So who am I? I believe in the oneness of God. We are all talking about the same thing. Look within your heart to solve the riddle. The answer lies within. I am guided. Help is always there. <coughs> we are supported by the universe. The, the more you sense this and trust in this, the more you open up. The world does not teach that you have internal coaches. They will not play the game for us, yet they are experts in coaching. We truly have guides. Imagine a part of you is multidimensional. A part of you exists back home. Your guides are a part of you. They are there and you are there. Only your free choice is stopping you to discover this truth. By using free choice and saying, I want to be in contact with my guides. With your intent, you, op you open up the doors. This is probably a brand new way of thinking. You are never alone. It just seems that way. Ponder these words. I just can't believe it. <laughs> what you are saying comes out of the storybook. Indeed, that is true. For thousands of years, man has written stories about this incredible journey. These stories are about their journey to find God within. It's not focus focus. You are the universe. You just don't know. The truth lies inside of you. These poems are meant to wake you up from your slumber. We are not trying to convince you. We are telling you our story. It may seem far-fetched, but science and religion is talking about the same thing. Ponder these words. Just think the universe exists inside of you. I love rainy days, laying in bed with my lover. The sounds of rain patter on the roof. We have a nice warm comforter. At times, both of us are reading our books. At times, we are holding each other in our arms. At times, we are talking to each other. The rain brings such security. The rain nurtures all. I'm totally relaxed, not a care at all. The world is at rest. I'm in my lover's arms. I love the magic of writing poems. You sit still and listen. After a few moments, thoughts arise. Where do they come from? It's like a constant flow of information. 
the information to lie. It comes deep within your being. It's like surfing. You become alive. The universe is happy. You are happy. I'm connecting to my true nature. Hopefully the words will inspire you. We are family. We are on this boat together. As family, we help each other out. We love to do that on this journey of life. We are one. I love you. There's nothing else to say. Never put a but at the end. I love you is unconditional. If you can truly say this and have no buts, then your life will bloom. Love is acceptance. By truly loving someone, this will dissolve most of our baggage. We need for each of us to be a foundation. I think, therefore, I'm confused. How many different sects and religions are out there? Many say, believe in this and you will be saved. While others say, if you believe in what they say, you are doomed. Are we trapped by what we believed in? I think, therefore, I'm confused. Maybe everybody is talking about the same thing. Can we rely on religion? Maybe the answer lies inside. Is God a Christian, Hindu, or Jain? Was Jesus a Catholic? Don't all great teachers proclaim that God lies within? Maybe we need our own internal experience. Then we can see that everybody is talking about the same thing. Wouldn't that change the world? If a person is fanatical, he can't see the forest from the trees. Many people say, if I can't see it with my own two eyes, I don't believe it. How sad. How can you see the infinite with your two eyes? Some of us are nearsighted and farsighted. We can only see a few miles away. We are so linear. I can go from point A to point B. For example, we went from the Earth to the Moon. Grand applause. Now God is not linear. It is beyond time and space. How can you comprehend this? Not with your two eyes or state of mind. The Master has always said, discover the truth within. If I showed you a map before Christopher Columbus, it didn't have the Americas on it. A map is only good for its present time. The more we know about the world around us, the map changes. For thousands of years, we carried an old map. Imagine if the Americas aren't on it. How can we sail home when our map doesn't have our destination on it? Man is mapping out the universe. He has named billions of stars. Yet, we haven't developed a new map self-discovery. There is a map within. It is a map to God. Day by day you can sail your boat back home. The winds of love are supporting your steps. This is an incredible journey. You are sailing home. If our mind is like a computer, how do we program life? 